Nerd Soul. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, late LK at one y'all still holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, coming with another wonderful episode of Nerd Soul Gaming. Um, today we're gonna kick it a little bit, relax, and just talk about um how much I'm enjoying the continuation of a show that I thought it was going to be kind of corny, which is Fort Salem. Like, Fort Salem is pretty darn good. Motherland is a show that um, I had seen a couple, like, you know, trailers for, ads, and all that stuff, and um, had been pretty interested in how it would play out. Um, and, you know, straight up, we have this kind of alternate history supernatural thing going on um and it's a lot of fun to watch uh i'm what four episodes deep now and i've got to tell you man like for a show that you know say like once again freeform is coming through like i'm not gonna front man freeform is holding down there's been many times when i thought like, there's been a couple times when I thought that Freeform was, like, not the flavor. But, you know, I have been proven wrong. Like, Freeform is a is a station that has some, some pretty competent content. And um, right now, I just want to talk about Fort Salem and is heating up. They had their... Um, they had, you know, of course, the uh, the Beltane, and you know, which is essentially like their Freaknik. It's like it's like the Witch Freaknik, I guess. Um, and straight up, this is something that I thought would kind of derail the show. Um, but with when adding in the um, the issue with. Uh, What's her name? Rael or whatever. And um, Scylla. And, and that boy that she killed. I cannot remember the boy name. Oh, I'm so sorry. That that poor boy ended up dead. And I don't even remember his name. But um, Scylla, you know, of course, she's with the spree. And the whole time, I'm like, yo. Like, they even they even got up in her um, up in her mirror and was like, yo, stop messing up, B. Like, you're going you gonna to mess this up for all of us. Like, we up in here trying to get our sneak on. And... You go and mess everything up and like do what you're told. You know what I'm saying? And you know, even at the end of episode four, you see the lady come to her and she was like, I told you to bring her to us. And you trying to bring her to you. You know what I'm saying? So there's there's a lot, you know, there's a lot there that I think, you know, like many, many people are kind of sleeping on when it comes to the I don't know, like the lore of this show that ends up being a lot of fun to watch. Um, I do wonder where Scylla goes from here because Scylla looks like she's being kind of squeezed at both ends. Um, and what I mean by like, all right, check this. Say say if she's like, all right, I'm going to follow the spree, right? Well, she's essentially, but well, she's not fully behind enemy lines because now we know that there's other people you know, kind of like they said, that fixed the um, that fixed the whole issue. Um, what is it of of the dead the dead boy? So you know, they have she has that, but she is kind of behind enemy lines. Like if people found out that uh, you know, like for for any reason that you know that was she was spree, she'd probably be like strung up fast. Be especially when it comes to um. What's the, what's the lady name? The, the chick that's running the whole thing. Because here's the deal. Like, their whole their whole setup right now is... I mean, their whole setup is, like, really tight when you, when you start to look at, like, okay. <sighs> They're out there searching right now. Completely searching. For anyone who's on the spree, 
they're angry, they're ready to, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, to you know, pretty much attack anyone around. People are dying. They just ran that op where uh, some people died um, that they're mad about the, um, the main chick now. So, you know, there's, there's much to be like, I guess, I guess to discuss and much to be angry about. And I think that, you know, she's, she is, she is definitely on the edge and I don't think she has the help that she needs. Not that I really care cause she's the spree. So, I mean, she need to be dead anyway, but it seems like they're trying to add in this whole thing. Like, you know, we should feel bad for her because she had like, you know, a childhood. I'm like, dude, you still killing people. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. Like, ain't nobody trying to hear that, man. It's like, like, get out of here with all that. All right, let me see. Right, let me... Just trying to be extra cautious. You know what I'm saying? I got to drop down a little bit. Just trying to be extra cautious. That's all. Just, just don't want to be extra cautious. You know? I don't want to end up like Scylla, because Scylla almost caught an L, man. Like, if they had, like, straight up, If, if they had, if they got a chance to talk to that boy when that bird went in, his, went in his mouth, if they had talked to him for real, it would have been a rap for him. He would have been there, sitting there looking stupid. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. All right, all right. I see you. I see you. I see you. Um, but he would have been sitting there looking dumb, like straight up. Oh snap! Oh, trying to take a brother down. All right, cool, cool. This might be spot might be blown. But um, let's also talk about, uh, I cannot remember her name, the, the main chick, like the, the I guess the, the, the general or whatever. Like the thing, the issue with her, like my main issue with her is that I, She's definitely keeping mad secrets from people, right? Keeping tons of secrets. And on top of keeping tons of secrets, she's like stealing the youth of the other girls and stuff. She ain't even, the old girl ain't even get a chance to get be part of Beltane, man. And like, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, kids want to get their little, you know, get their little love on, you know what I'm saying? She ain't get to do none of that. Everybody else got to get their freak on. Even the Bellwether chick had two dudes, you know what I'm saying? And what did she get? Nothing. She got to turn old. You know what I'm saying? And and that was it. He got to turn old for the rest of her life. And all in service of this of this chick that's like running the joint. Which I'm not particularly, you know, I'm not particularly mad at. Cause I guess that's, you know, the the I guess that's, you know, the 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 game they chose, the life they chose. But it just seems, it just seems a little exploitive, right? Like, it seems like, it just, because when they, when she told her, like, yo, you want, you got to be part of the, um, part of the, uh, the group or whatever, right? She was like, oh, word? And she was like, when? She was like, right now. And you could see on her face, she looked kind of like, she looked kind of like, dang, like, you know, like, right, right now, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's funny that. On one hand, she's trying to make it seem like it's a benevolent thing or like it's an honor. And I mean, I guess you could say it's an honor because, you know, it's witches, you know, holding it down for the squad, you know what I'm saying, for my squad. But um, it just seems like mad exploitive for how it's, you know, in general. Hold on, let me, all right, let me make sure I got, sure I, got I don't know what guns they got up in here. But I'm gonna I'm rock to the wheels fall off with this sniper rifle. Um, but I just, I wonder how long this is gonna last with, with her power. And the reason I say with her power, because when they went to that, um, when they went to the Hague, it did not seem for an instant, you know what I'm saying? Like there was any love lost from the other countries because they were like, yo, you, you know what I'm saying? You think you running this just off GP that, you know, that you the US, you know what I'm saying? Just because the US, you the US don't mean nothing to me, son. 
um, I think that was old girl from India that was talking that mess. So uh, she was definitely flyer than she was. So I mean, I mean, I guess if that counts for anything, <laughs> she had better clothes, she looked better, and she looked fresher. She probably got more old kids to be looking, you know what I'm saying, to be looking younger or whatever. But when it comes to her position around the uh, around the world, especially like with the Hague and everything, and that little like that, you know, I guess the United Nations of the witches or whatever that came together, you you have to wonder like how long is this is gonna last? How is how long is her power gonna last? Because then you see D from Moesha come through and she the president and you know shouts out to D from Moesha like you see real easily that it's just not a good look. You know what I'm saying? The president is not happy and she's talking about bringing all right, let me see, let me see. All right, hold on, make sure I ain't tripping because this is just me and June up in this joint. Um, right. But um, it just seems like the U.S. government is not happy. You know what I'm saying? And if the U.S. government ain't happy, how long is that going to last? Um, as far as her bringing in troops to even take over, you know, like the witch joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, is this going to be an issue where they're going to have to deal with the U.S. military? Oh, snap. Hold up. Bruh. Really, though? I missed them twice, though? Oh, snap. I missed them three times. Sit your butt down. And you two? Yeah, yeah, sit down. All right, so um, the trip the trip here is <sighs> she's going to have to deal with this whole situation of the spree faster than we think. And then some parts of me wonders if she's part of the spree or, you know, something's going on there because it seems like there's other people that are more, I guess, equipped or ready to serve or that have better ideas than she does because... Yo, straight up, they, they, even Bellwether, the Bellwether girl, her mom, is not too keen on her. Like, straight up. She's like, um, you can, you can see, you know, as head of security, you can see that, let me see, who in there? Um, you can see that she is not, you know, as in, in any way impressed with, I guess, her, status or stature and you know she kind of overstepped her bounds a little bit you heard the old ladies going like you know what i'm saying doing it pretty much like back up how but um oh excuse me you know what i'm saying it's an all ages channel excuse me y'all but you can see that she kind of overstepped her bounds but rightfully so because she ran that op that got all those people killed and um that lady's daughter died and she was like yo that was my daughter and she was like you know you know, our daughters, and she was like, no, 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 but this is my real daughter, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to hear none of that, this is like my daughter, daughter, son. Like, this is like my flesh and blood, B. All right, hold on, let me. Mm. It's like, this is just a horrible spot, son. This is just a doo-doo spot. Yeah, we all... Yeah, let's do this. All right, yeah, that's a little bit better. So, a lot of people might be looking at her like, yo, you're getting people needlessly killed. Your methods ain't working. Um, and this whole you staying young forever, we ain't feeling it. Maybe it's time for a new, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's time for some new rule. And they might not be wrong, you know what I'm saying? They they might be like, yo, it's time for some new rule. Like, you up in here messing stuff up, you know, you ain't killing the spree. Like, you should be killing the spree. You ain't killed nobody. What are, what are you, what's your purpose besides just being in power? You know what I'm saying? And the president, you know, things might come crashing down on her because the president might be like, I will check it. I'm, you know, I'm ready for you to go. 
the bellwether, uh, Miss Bellwether, or whatever, she might be like, well, yeah, I'm ready for you to go too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it might be a perfect storm of her like messing around and losing, you know, like losing her position in, you know, in everything. Um, but hold on, hold on. You, really though? I know this dude ain't seen me. All right, son. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You better take this L. Oh, yeah, you better. I'm about to say, you better take this L. All that. You better take this whole L. Um, so back to back to our team of uh, you know, the team that we follow with like Rail and all that. Um, I actually like that they're slowly coming together and becoming like an actual team. Like we saw them kind of grow when they went out to the the kind of like festival event. You know, they had a little pizza together. Um, and I'm not mad at that. I'm I'm actually happy that we got to see them kind of mend things. The bellwether girl, rail or whatever. They they kind of chill. And then um can't remember the girl's name. I'm for lack of a better term, she's like the Tilly of the show. If you watch Star Trek Discovery, you'll kind of know. But she's kind of like the Tilly of this show. Um, let's see. All right. So I do like her attitude. I do like them as a team. I think they're starting to gel better. And I think we've we've spent enough time with them being kind of like, you know, like not vibing to it seeming natural. Because you don't want to drag it out forever where they like hate each other. Um, and, and then at the last minute become like fast friends. So I do like the fact that they're like slowly kind of, you know, kind of vibing and all that. Um, I will say one thing though, um, your girl Rail needs to kind of trust her gut and call on her, you know, like drill sergeant or superior, you know, the shorty that, um, the shorty that's kind of like running the training because she should have said that stuff about um about Scylla mad early son like she should she should have been like yo look um old girl's memories is mad weird I don't know why you know I I really don't know why she's hiding something but she's hiding something oh snap all right it's like she's hiding something I don't know why she's hiding it but it's not a good look and you need to check her. You know what I'm saying? Check your girl because she's dangerous and she could end up being, you know, she could end up easily being the reason, you know, all of us die because it's, you know, she could easily be, of course, the the mole, you know, the, the, uh, the spree, you know what I'm saying? So you have to look at things I mean, of course she's young, you know what I'm saying? But I'd even think, even though she's young and she's like feeling like she's in love, you'd still, as, you know, the military training got to kick in sometime and be like, yo, man, this joint is crazy. Um, I think this chick need to go. She might need to take an L. We might need to kill her because she's dangerous. And I don't know <laughs> if she's telling me the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Um, of course, so help you God. Um, and all right, cool. Let's see. Uh, what I think we good. I think we good up in here. There's a couple. There's a couple people, but it's not crazy. Uh, but um, yeah. How at me? I'm gonna holler at you down in the comments. Let's talk about it, man. Let me know what you're feeling about, uh, or if you're feeling. Motherland at all. This is a show that I'll be honest, I thought it was gonna be kinda corny. And I ended up enjoying this, man, for real. Like I was like, oh all right, cool. Uh, I ended up enjoying the show. So um I'm sticking around. I watched the first episode. You guys kind of heard how I felt about the first episode. Um I'm I'm digging it. I'm still feeling it. I'm still rolling. I'm still, I'm still, yeah, I'm definitely still down with the show. I think this is I think this is one that might 
mess around and be like, my sleeper hit, you know, my sleeper hit for uh, 2020. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be like, you know, the show. But sleeper though, I, I think so. I, I think this could be my joint for. Okay, there you go. There you go. All right, cool. Old boy got him. Oh no, he didn't. Did he get him? But um, yeah, this this might mess around and be my sleeper hit uh, for 2020. I'm enjoying it a lot. I like that they're playing it straight, man. We, I mean, we of course we're getting some you know drama because you know I mean it's you know is is you know of course young adults and stuff. But it's not, it's not melodramatic in a cheesy way. Like these re these relationships kind of make sense, and I'm digging the I'm digging the international implications, and the um on top of the international implications, I'm di I'm digging the um, uh, what is it the uh, the just the national implications between uh, the the witches and the U.S. government, you know, and how that's going to play out and who that's gonna affect and how it's gonna affect them. So yeah, I'm definitely in for the long haul. I think I'm gonna rock this all the way, at least to the end of the season. So guys, of course, let's talk down below. Motherland, Fort Salem, show that I thought would have been kind of cheesy is ending up being pretty fresh. I wanna see where this goes, man. We got, you know, we got some conspiracy going on. We got some secret double agents. We got enough to keep us busy. So, of course, until next time, N-E-R-D, S-U-L, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, holla at me in all them places. And until next time, peace.